Welcome to the New York Marine Rescue Center. We are a 501c3 nonprofit organization located on the east end of Long Island. Our mission is to preserve and protect the marine environment through conservation efforts, including rescue, rehabilitation, education, and research. We are New York's primary responders for sick and injured seals, dolphins and porpoises, small toothed whales, and sea turtles, and the only facility in the state that is permitted to rehabilitate pinnipeds and sea turtles. Out of all of the marine species that we respond to, sea turtle populations are the most critical. Four out of the seven species of sea turtles frequent New York waters. Atlantic green sea turtles, loggerheads, Kemp's ridleys, and leatherbacks all travel here to feed. There are many different reasons behind sea turtle strandings and mortality, such as boat strikes, entanglement, and predation. But the leading cause here in New York is due to a physiological temperature shock called cold stunning. Cold stunning is a condition similar to hypothermia. It occurs when the water temperature drops below 50 degrees and a sea turtle's internal body temperature becomes too low. This is very common in New York between the months of October to January. Sea turtles are reptiles, and because they are cold-blooded, they are unable to regulate their own body temperatures. Once they enter this hypothermic-like state, they will experience a decrease in respiratory and cardiac function. They then float listlessly at the surface, making them more susceptible to danger and can wash ashore in a debilitated state. A healthy sea turtle should have a heart rate of 35 to 40 beats per minute, but some will arrive with a heart rate as low as one beat per minute. During the beginning stages of the Rehabilitation Action Plan, Specialists and technicians will provide tactile stimulation and gentle manipulation to the turtles to trigger a response. Any movement is a good indicator that the turtle is getting stronger. When the animals become alert and are able to move on their own, they can be introduced to a shallow water habitat as they reacclimate to a more natural environment. As the sea turtles continue to show signs of improvement throughout the year, we closely monitor their overall health. We perform regular physicals, observe their behavior, provide a nutritious diet, and enhance their habitats here at our facility with environmental enrichment devices. This will simulate their natural environment and allow the sea turtles to practice behaviors like foraging for food and locating suitable hiding places to rest as both staff and sea turtles prepare for their release. Each sea turtle will receive a unique metal ID tag on their back flippers and a passive integrated transponder, better known as a pit tag, underneath their skin. This is similar to a microchip in your pet at home, and these tags will not hinder or interfere with any movement. They help to identify the individual if they are ever sighted again. In some cases, we are also able to monitor the turtles via satellite tags, and once they are released, we can track their movements to protect the areas that they are frequenting and better understand their travel and migration patterns. The final stage to our rehabilitation process is the release, the moment we've all been waiting for. We will wait until the water temperatures throughout New York reach at least low to mid-70s. This typically happens in the later months of summer. Our team of volunteers, interns, staff, and a group of supporters see them off as they make their return back to the wild for a second chance. The New York Marine Rescue Center has responded to over 700 cases of cold stunned sea turtles. And while only one in every thousand sea turtle will make it to adulthood, it is our goal to increase the odds of survival for every turtle in our care. On behalf of everyone at the New York Marine Rescue Center, we thank you for your support.